Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Askins, Code Primate, and we are back inside my lumber. Um, again, don't want to call it lumber, so I'm, I'm, can, I'm gonna come up with something else for it. But um, if this is your first time joining me, I do encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that comment button, all that good stuff that I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But apparently, I got to do it at the beginning of videos um, because that's the thing that YouTube does now. Uh, apparently, you're supposed to like a video before you even watch the whole thing. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. There's a little bit of, uh, yeah, sarcasm there. So, um, what I was working on yesterday... Oh, by the way, huge thank you to the person that said that this thing was not anchored. I will go ahead and beep, anchor it right there. Um, so I was working on this yesterday, or not yesterday, the day before. How to get this thing to do this thing. Oh, I guess I disabled it. Did I disable it? I probably disabled it. Anyhow, uh, no, the axe doesn't work. Somebody said, oh no, the axe isn't working. No, the axe does not work. Um, but something I did notice is I want to be able to um, click and move things. So I made these, uh, uh oh, what's this? What happened here? What, 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 what? Workspace attempted to destroy a nil value. Uh, oh, 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 oh. This was uh, my tree modules. Because O doesn't have a destroy value in it. That's okay. I shouldn't need it, I don't think. Should I? I'll come back to it. Uh, anyhow. Yeah, so I was working on the context stuff and if I remember right, Plugly did this. Oh gosh. <laughs> Does it work? Hold on, it's not working. <laughs> uh, I have to, I have to, ah, uh, no, it's not. If I keep clicking on the same spot, it should start like a staircase, kinda. <laughs> okay, I don't know how you did it, but anyhow. Um, Basically what I did is I, I took the little context grab thing that we were using and I started making a whole bunch of little pink dot thingies uh, But it also works whenever you have a tool in your hand, which it's not supposed to like you don't want to be able to grab an object when there's a tool in your hand, so uh, Let's go over here to the context and grab script. This is what I was working on to grab objects so This is all local stuff. Um, I'm gonna have to get it to fire off a, a request and in the event that that request is good, it comes back and would allow you to actually move an object or whatnot. Um, let's see here. Where did I leave off? If mouse.target, then local block. Okay, so this is, um, <coughs> I'll just take this out, this part right here. Uh, this was a test block for and creating a pink block as a test. And all this is right down here. So, that was right there. Uh, if mouse.target find first child can grab, then we need to check to see if we actually have something in our hand. Uh, so, whenever I'm actually playing, Let's go look at the player character. So, code primate. If I go look at my right arm, right, and then I go and pick something up, does that actually do something? So, blink. That's my right leg. <laughs> it's not my right arm. Silly goose. All right, there's a grip attachment. Wait, what? Oh no, I've destroyed the player character. Okay, that wasn't what I had intended to do. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> All right, pick that up. There you go. Uh-oh, what happened to my glasses? Could not fetch. Why could you not fetch their studio? Let's try it again. Workspace expected equal sign in your, oh. 
Oh. Uh, yeah, there. Stop. Wow, having all kinds of different little errors in my script today. There we go. Alright, now my glasses are back. There we go. Now, if we go look at the workspace, go look at the workspace. Uh, code prime 8, and then we're going to look at right arm, right grip. Why is this? Uh, list of oaks. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's uh, let's go. Where's that script at? Actually, where's the script located? Um, tree scripts, tree module. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Tree scripts, tree module. But that's not. Let's see, was it the? Uh, one to one hundred. Look vector. Oh, this is the, uh, okay, stop, 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 stop. Yes, I know that you're paused. Thank you for telling me that you're paused. <coughs> you, there. Hey, you, you, hey, hey, you. Yep, there it is, okay. So, I'm gonna right click, no, I'm just going to disable that script for a moment. We'll come back to this. This is what I'm working on. I'm working on the grip today. Boink. <laughs> Code primate. There I am. Now, if I... There's the pre-alpha axe, but it didn't attach to the right arm. So, okay, what happens whenever I press 1? It disappears and goes into my backpack, right? Yeah, but it makes a weld on there. Is that how normal ones work? I wonder. That's, that's how a tool works, right? Uh, let's see, right arm. Oh, right grip, right there. So I guess I could just test to see if I've got a right grip. If there's a right grip, I cannot click, right? All right, so let's go back over to the context and grab. And let's do this. <clears throat> so grab action equals action, stop, 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 stop. Grab action equals action. Um, let's see. Action name, user input. Uh, if action grab, then if user input, input state begin, then print start move. Well, we're not actually going to print it, but this is uh, basically the context of it. Um, do we have local player? Did I set a local player of some kind? Ooh. Okay, let's just do this. Local player equals uh, game dot players dot local player. There we go. So that should return us <coughs> local character equals player dot character dot get character dot. Okay. What's the long version of this? Copy, paste, dot, character. I think it's just dot, character. Well, let's see if this works. Play. Player. Not. Psst, there you go. Player. Dot, character. Uh, and I probably should use a wait for child right there. But I'm not going to. If character. Oh, did I do lower? Yeah, I did lower. That's fine. If character dot right arm find first child what, what do we call it? Grip One. Take that out for a second. I forgot what it was called. <laughs> Wow, code. Good job. GG. All right. Code primate. Pick it up. There you go. And right arm. Right grip. Stop. So if find first child. Right 
grip. If character dot find first child, and I need to do if not because we want it to return nil. Then, and then we can do this little test block of debris stuff. End. So now we should not be able to click. So like, oh wait, what happened? Was this was a test block? <laughs> Forgot to comment that back out. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. And play. <laughs> Silly code. Wait, what? What? Uh, right arm is not a valid member of model. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I thought it was. Is it not? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Workspace. Code prime eight. Right arm. Oh, is there a space there? Hold up. There's a space, you silly goose. Okay, so we need to go back over to the context and grab. So right here where it says right arm, because there's a space, there's no way to like put a period after that. So to find that, we want to put it in quotes like this and in brackets. That will still find the first child of, yeah. Or the that child. <clears throat> In fact, you could do that with everything. So, um, for example, um, let's do this: game workspace. Uh, it's got to be capital. I think that would work too. Workspace dot code. See, like I could do that and it would still work because it's referencing the object name of a table, basically. So let's just do a character right arm and try again. Blink. All right, so I can't click. Oops, uh, but if I take it off, hey, we're clicking once again. Amazing, and what's kind of cool is like, you can kind of see where the uh, spawn pads are because the target hit is actually an invisible object. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work so well if we're trying to grab something that has disappeared under an object. But click, 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 click. Have a tool in hand. Ah, doesn't work anymore. The context changed. Click, 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 click. Gone. Okay, cool. So, um, let's see, what's next, what's next? Uh, if mouse.target find first child can grab then, then we can actually grab the object. Grab start equals true. So, I want to be able to grab the object. Um, I wonder if I can weld. Let's just do something for fun. Um, this weld, or let's say let's say grip weld equals instance. Oops. Inst, inst, instance dot new weld and. Let's, uh, let's declare this up here. Local grip weld equals nil. <clears throat> grip weld equals instance dot, dot new weld. Um, grip weld dot co equals I got it I have to have the part right let's do 
grab object and grip build dot c one does it dot c one equals <laughs> okay that's gonna be funny um let's see right character hold on character dot right arm I don't know if this is gonna work in fact it's probably it's it's not gonna work uh, okay grip will destroy I have no clue if that's going to work correctly. Okay, uh, can grab. So where's my uh, my test box? I used to have a test box. I probably used it for something. Okay, let's just create a new part. New part down here on the ground, and we're just going to call this test test part. And then we're going to add a new value to it. Insert string value. Uh, and that is going to be called can grab and yep <laughs> okay <laughs> I knew that wouldn't work all right unexpected error while invoking okay co primate context uh, index grip weld up value, wait. Attempted to index up value grip weld a nil nil value. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is this is not what I was going for. Um Let's do this. Um, grab object, grip weld. We're, we're going to call this the, what do we want to call it? The um, drag ball equals instance, inst, instance dot new. Um, hmm. Drag ball dot brick. Why, why is this not brick color? Equals brick color. Is it because I'm not inside an instance of something? Or inside a function? Hold on. Let's come down here. Yeah, let's get rid of the that. Oh, it's because <laughs> silly. I'm still scripting. <laughs> okay. There, it's starting to change colors and stuff. Okay. So here, I should be able to go dot. Brick color equals uh, brick color dot new and blue, bright blue, dark blue, baby blue, deep blue, electric blue. Ooh, let's try electric blue. Drag ball dot uh, material equals enum enum dot material dot wood drag ball dot uh, size equals vector three dot new uh, point three no let's do point two comma point two comma point two point two 
drag ball. Drag ball dot. Parent equals mouse dot target. No, the grab object, which is which is the mouse dot target. Uh, drag ball dot position or dot C frame equals C frame dot new. And we want the mouse. What do we use up there? Mouse dot hit dot position. And we we should only need just the vector. So that should be an XYZ coordinate. The mouse dot hit is a XYZ. It's a vector three. Um, how do I attach it? I do have to weld, weld it, don't I? Um, so, okay, let's go look that up real quick, because I need to, Roblox welds, weld joints. All right, part, part, part zero, part one determines how to offset the point. Should be attached to part zero. Determines how the part one should be attached to the offset point. Okay, so these are the actual welds. Um, okay, then that works. Part one dot C frame times C one equals <coughs> part zero dot C frame times C zero. Okay, okay. So it's the it's the same kind of multiplication stuff that we were using with um, with the offset of the trees. So just as an example, what is this manual weld and engine wing math C frame new? Okay, lots of good examples. Uh, weld between, ooh, and B. Make a weld, make a new weld, and parent it to A. Weld A, and since new, manual weld. Manuel, <coughs> manuel, no, manual. Get the C-frame of B relative to A. Inverse, set the parts, A and B. Okay, so um, let's see here. Let's see if I can mess this up. So we have the drag ball's position, and we know where it's at. And we have the parts position because we have the target object. Uh, we also have the hit position. So part zero, part zero equals grab object c zero equals mouse dot hit uh, and part one equals um equals drag ball and c one would equal just the c frame right Drag ball dot C frame, I think. So those those should be our parts, and I'm actually going to just comment that out real quick. Uh, nope, that didn't work. Wait, wait, there we go. And blink, blink. So that should be how we weld the two together. Uh, now, did I put the parent? I put the parent as the grab object, right? Yes, yes, I did. Now, we have to find the first child can grab. And as long as it's got the first child can grab, then it's true. So let's, uh, let's just see this real quick. All right, there, can I click? 
Well, I got the pink ball to, or the pink square to appear, but no, no grab ball. Hold on, stop. <laughs> okay. I need to take this out. There we go. Also, this needs to be around this. Because we don't want this to happen if we have a tool in our hand. So we'll take that out. So the drag ball equals an instance new part, brick color, material, size, parent, C frame, uh, position. Drag ball dot position equals mouse dot hit dot hit. It's capital H like that. All right, let's look real quick. Oh, well, that worked. But uh, let's see. Expected. Oh, oh, okay. That's fine. You expected a C frame. I'll, I can give you a C frame. Oh, I guess the C frame is right there, isn't it? Hold on. Let's try taking this out. Is the mouse that hit a C frame? And if it is, can I use it as a C frame? That should be a true statement. Boink. Hey, hey. That's working. But we want the uh, we want the ball itself. So uh, let's see. Drag ball dot um, um, can collide equals false and drag ball dot. <clears throat> we want can collide turned off. Uh, that should be it. So now we need to weld the two together. So let's do um, wield loco wield wield weld weld weld. How do you spell it? Instance dot new weld. All right, local drag ball weld equals and I'm also going to name this so trackball dot name equals trackball and I don't think I did the shape right did I trackball dot shape equals sphere 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 <sighs> Drag ball weld equals instance. Nope. Instance dot new weld. Actually, I already had it typed out. What am I doing? It's a little late. That's okay. Uh, and then we want to say uh, drag ball weld dot part zero equals grab object. Drag ball weld dot C zero equals mouse dot hit like that. Drag ball weld dot part one equals what did I just delete? Oh gosh. Drag ball is drag ball. And then uh, da -da 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 -da, the offset is drag ball weld dot c one equals drag ball. There we go. So then, if we have a drag ball, we want to move the drag ball around. Hold on, let's just do that real fast. To see if this, see what kind of trouble we get into here. Okay, something didn't. Yeah, I didn't spell sphere. All right, how to make a sphere in Roblox. Uh, allow special messages like cylinders and other stuff. Blah, 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 blah. 
All right, how do I do that in script? Come on, somebody tell me in script. Script, 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 script. That's a lot of talking, no scripts. Creating a hole in an object. No, I just want to create a ball. Union. No. Go away. Creating a circle. Creating a stretchable like sphere. Solid moon. Okay. <clears throat> How to set part to sphere. Wow, I cannot sphere in Roblox. Creating parts via code. Yay, parts. Parts, Bob. Workspace, terrain, camera, base, base, base plate. I think it's just shape, but I'm, I'm gonna have to pass in the correct. Thanks for telling me how to create things. Yeah, I know how to do that. Hmm. Dot shape equals, is it an enumeration? <gasps> is it an enum? Enum dot shape dot mesh type dot sphere. Ooh. Yes, maybe? Is that it? Stop. <coughs> stop, stop, stop. Have to stop first, <coughs> then play. Maybe I it, I got it right and I just spelt it wrong. Yeah, let's, hold on. Maybe I just can't spell. Try that. Stop. Play. Boop, doop, 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 boop. Click. Nope, still didn't like it. Well, I didn't really want a sphere anyway. <laughs> All right, hold on. How do I do this? Let's do let's do a new part sphere. What's the difference between this and this? This is a part. This is a part. This has what different down here? Oh, it's called ball. Shape is ball. Oh. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Context and grab. There we go. Shape equals ball. Just trying to be all scientific about it, but that's okay. Wink, wink. Hey, it works. Of course, it's falling through the ground now. I guess the weld's not working correctly. <laughs> no. Uh, hmm. Why is the well not working? Let's go back over here. All right, we can get rid of this script. This script, where are you? Code primate. Okay, that's the big face that's looking at me. Get rid of some of these scripts. Kind of getting in my way here. Oh my gosh, it's been 33 minutes. <sighs> I'm never going to get this game done. No! <clears throat> if I'm having this much trouble just on like trying to get an object to lift off the ground. Mm. Drag ball. Okay. <sighs> Let's go back and look at that weld. Roblox welds. Um, weld. See from math methods. There we go. Weld. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> to actively weld a part, I have to pass in the part C zero C one part one and Roblox locks. Last name. See how it says in uh, inherited from instance. I always like to hide these because I already know a lot of the instance stuff inherited from instance. I don't need to know the data cost. So Roblox developer just always adds the instances down there at the bottom. I don't need all of that extra stuff. And it makes it very intimidating. Just hide it. Just make it hide. And if I want to know what it inherited from something, then I will show it. But like by default, that should be hidden, I think. Okay. 
<coughs> weld joints for more information on how to use welds. Oh, thank you. All right, this is what we were using earlier. Uh, C frame, part one dot C frame equals C one dot C frame. Okay, that's that's fine. That's what we did a second ago. What am I missing for Euler? I don't need all that. Put it all together. Uh, w C one equals C frame dot new C frame math of high. Open Roblox. Um, create engine and a wing. Group the engine and the wing together as PLN. Click PLN. Insert object into PLN. Copy and paste the script, putting it all together from above. Test engine should have a weld logo on the explore menu. Hmm. Maybe it's a manual weld. Manual. Let's uh, let's change this to a manual, manual weld. Does that work? Try that. Instance dot new manual weld. Come on, Manuel. Nope, still fell through. What in the world? Wait, hold on. Is it because I made it? Um, can collide? No. Let's try that. Nope. But if we look in workspace, um, part one, that's not it. Part one, that's not it either. Test box, there we go. Can grab. Hmm. Where did I put the parent again? Cause I mean, that's gotta be somewhere, right? All these little things. These, look, oh, look, 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 look. It's not working if I click down here, but it works if I click up here. That's kind of cool. Well, it's starting to work. We're just gonna have to add some particle effects to it. Um, hmm. Test part. Oh, oh, there they are. Why did they... <laughs> Hold on. Is this... Okay. Okay. Maybe I just need to... What, what if I... Okay, if I don't make it into the parent... Uh, let's make it into the workspace. Workspace. Then will you weld? Nope. But if I look in the thing, there's the drag ball. And it should have a weld, right? Local weld. Okay, so this function is to weld in between parts A and parts B. Make a weld, make a new weld, and parent it to A. Weld instance.new manual. Oh, wait a second. Does the weld need a parent? Because technically the weld was an instance which is created in the, the void. All right, so drag ball weld dot parent equals <gasps> grab object. That's probably not it. It's probably not, not gonna work. Oh, that's. Drag ball. Uh, let's go back over to the testing. Switch over to server. This way we can see where that drag ball is at. We can't see it because it's local to the client only. What in the world? Where are you, drag ball? Selection part already right, has the selection Roblox backpack selection. Okay, so this was um, very informative. 
but I do believe we are going to need to stop for the night because we are 40 minutes in. I've actually gone over my time by a lot. So uh, when we come back tomorrow, I will try and get that to work. And I want to put a, uh, a body mover. Uh, hold on. I was going to sneeze during a video. Uh, no? Excuse me. So I actually sneezed during a video. Yay! Good luck. Uh, it's, it's always good luck to sneeze during a video and record it happening. So um, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Let's Make a Game with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as I completely mess up welds. Um, yeah, I'll do some research and get back to you. Probably going to work on this during lunchtime tomorrow. Uh, in fact, as you're watching this video right now, I'm probably working on it inside studio. Thank you everyone for watching. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But like always, it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. I hope you learned some things. I hope uh, some of my scripting errors and showing you how I go and find my uh, answers to things helps. We'll talk to you guys uh, later and we will talk to you very soon. How true.